Hey, you're listening to Coffee Talk with Liquid Shana 1973. Here's your host, Shane Lakita. Good morning, everybody. I'm hoping that you are waking up this morning bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on this June 19th, 2018. And thank you so much for joining Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973. And we're here today to get the mind right and move things the right direction and get things going. And I know that all of you are working hard every single day. I'm part of that journey with you. And we're doing it together and we're trying to figure it out day by day and journey by journey and every single thing that we go through together. It's so helpful to know that I've got people in my corner and all of you that are listening right now that are fighting the good fight just like I am every single day. So today is June 19th and we're halfway through the year if you think about it, right? I know that for some that's kind of difficult to really get your mind wrapped around, but some of you right now are battling through the heat of the summer and you've got some scorching temperatures going on and others are battling through some rainstorms and anything else but anything to be completely honest with you is much better than some of the frigid temperatures that we had this last winter so I'm good with it I'm good with the heat I'm good with the humidity and in Maine to be honest with you our really hot summers only last about maybe five or six days and then the rest of the days are just you know kind of hot or whatever else but then we've got these beautiful lakes and these beautiful things that we can go do in the state to enjoy the state of Maine. So if you ever get a chance to come up this way, please do, because it is quite amazing during the summertime. My father and I used to always have a conversation because he lives down in Virginia Beach. And when uh, he was coherent, we used to talk a lot about the summers versus the two, right? So he would be always be like, I can't deal with the winters up there. And I'm like, oh, I, I agree with you. They're really difficult breaking out that snowblower, s- the shovels, doing all the things that we have to do to be able to battle through the frigid temperatures. But when the summertime hits and the temperature is screaming down there in Virginia and Georgia and those areas, and I'm up here with no humidity and beautiful sunshine and gorgeous weather, I'll take that any day of the week. And it makes you appreciate it even that much more. So that's that's the space that I'm going to live in right now. So, okay. So today I want to talk a little bit about what I posted on connect and on Instagram and on No Finish Line Nation. And I'll go through each one of those. I do it each one of the podcasts because it might be a new listener here today that we're that that's joined us on Coffee Talk. So on Instagram you could find me at Liquid Shano 1973. On No Finish Line Nation, it's a closed Facebook group that a lot of people are on. We have over forty one thousand people that are all together, just hand in hand, encouraging each other, inspiring each other, and just building a community that's all around, all about positive inf- reinforcement for things that you're trying to do, motivation. If you need a pick-me-up, it's right there for you to be able to get to. If you need a, a book read, it, there's recommendations happening right there. If you need some accountability, there's people there that can help you out with that too, and it's a safe place to go to. So if you aren't a member of No Finish Line Nation, please do so of going onto Facebook and searching the group's no Finish Line Nation. It's as easy as that. And then you request a ad to the group and myself or the other admins will approve you to come in. And then you can come in and join the great community that's there. Uh, other things that I've got going on right now that you can reach out to would be through the blog that I have too, coffeetalk.blog. And most of the podcasts are posted there too, along with some of the writings that I might put out there or announcements that are there. So the blog, you can sign up for email letters to be able to, every time that I post a new one, you can get an email saying that I have a new blog post posted or anything like that. So that's another venture that I have going on that I'm going to start to really focus in on to be able to communicate with you guys and be able to talk with you guys. Because a lot of times on the podcast, it's great. I have great camaraderie and good conversations with you guys through all these social media platforms, but a lot of times it's me speaking into a microphone. And although I'm putting my thoughts out there and I'm thinking about things, it's good to be able to communicate with people specifically around stuff that we're talking about on the podcast. So email, you can email me at liquidchano1973 at gmail.com, or you can go to any of those pages or any of those sites to be able to just message me and be able to talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. So, okay, so today's Coffee Talk is all about today. Now, that may 
make sense to some people, may make sense to others, or may not make sense. But here's what I'm saying. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of paint the picture of what this weekend looked like for me. So Saturday was a great day. It was my son's 13th birthday. We went out. We took him out to dinner. He likes to go into Buffalo Wild Wings. We got him some wings. We went over to watch some television, or, you know, on the big screen TVs. Then we got some ice cream cake for him, and we did all kinds of great things. He got some good gifts. He's into gaming, so we got him some gaming keyboards. It was just a really good soul-filled Saturday that we were able to just have a great time. Then on Saturday night, some of the guys in the neighborhood, this neighborhood that I love, that I'm a part of here, all got together and they decided to have the dads of the neighborhood for celebration of Father's Day come on over and they had this huge cornhole tournament. We had lights out in the back. We had a great time, camaraderie, a bunch of dudes just out there slinging bags out in the backyard and throwing some Frisbees and just having a good time. And then on Sunday itself, a buddy of mine and myself went to golf. So I went there, shot some good golf, had a couple pars, and was which was great, and uh, had a really good run overall out there on the golf course. But it was good. It was, we're breathing fresh air, you know, just spending some good times with a really good buddy of mine that I've known for years. And it was just great to get away for a little bit, but then also come home in the evening and found a gift from my wife. I had a nice new Vans t-shirt and some other stuff, and my son had chosen a certain design of Vans t-shirt that I wanted. So it was really great. It was a really good time. Okay, so all of that went on over the weekend. So my my heart was filled. So then I went into Monday, and Monday came around. And tell me if any of you have ever experienced the fact that you're riding a high, you're good to go, you come off that weekend, you're kind of a little bit of regretting to go back to work because you've had such a good weekend, but that's okay, you're ready to go. And then the second that you hit Monday, it smacks you right in the face. I got thunderstorms happening. It's raining the entire trip. I had to drive two and a half hours up to the Bangor area in Maine. I drove all the way up, and it's raining the entire time all the way up. I got slippery roads. I got people darting in and out of, of the traffic or wherever it was. I got stuff going on in my family that, that news comes around, and I got drama, and I got all kinds of stuff going on in my life. Then we get to the training. The training was pretty good. We facilitated, we had a good session, but then on the way back, the the rains turned from just some rain showers and some whatever to torrential downpours where it's black skies and, I mean, it's the highway traffic was going about 15 to 20 miles an hour for about 30 miles. And so, as you know, as you have had a full day, it's going so slow at a snail's pace. I got so much stuff going on. And here was what my thought process was. My old self would have gotten home after all that stress and everything that I was going through. I would have legitimately went into the house, threw on some macaroni and cheese, and just ate to oblivion because my stress level was so high. And that's how I used to cope with all of my stress was I would go immediately to food. And food would be my, I don't know, my binky, if you want to call it that, right? My blanket. So that way, I knew that that was the way that I soothed some of my stresses, even though I knew it was completely bad for me. So that was my old self. Now, I, I didn't. it's not that I didn't have those thoughts, because those thoughts don't go away. I, I, listen, I, I, I can tell you till I'm blue in the face that we are in this journey, and we're fighting the good fight every single day. Those thoughts don't go away. It's just like quitting smoking. If you're a smoker, or if you ever were a smoker, I used to do it back in the day when I was in the Navy. I got out of the military about 16, about 17 years ago, I quit smoking. I just said, I'm all, I'm all set with it and um, haven't picked up a cigarette since. But a lot of times if I'm out with friends or we're out having drinks or anything like that, I, I get the urge to smoke. It's the same exact thing. It's an addiction. The food is the same exact way. So the, the thought process doesn't go away with the fact that I would love to soothe my cravings with some fatty foods or something that's I would feel would satiate that appetite that I have at that moment in time for some some sort of fattening food like chocolate pudding or chocolate cake or whatever else. But here's what happened. So I get home and I had those thoughts and then I was like, you know what? Uh, we, we don't normally carry too many bad foods in the house. There's some things. My son likes to snack on some stuff. I mean, I just told you a minute ago that we had ice cream cake for his birthday and went to Buffalo Wild Wings, which aren't all that healthy of an option. Even though when I was there, I will tell you, I did have the naked tenders at Buffalo Wild Wings, which is much better than your fried chicken wings. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of that fact. Anyway, small victories. So I digress. So over on at last night when I get home from a long, stressful day and I get home 
and the TV's on. I got uh, you know news going. It was about seven o'clock when I got home. It was good. I got home, had some good dinner, and then I was thinking to myself, those urges started to come in to go, man. I just want to relax with just something fattening, man. Something something that I shouldn't be eating, and I just want to go ahead and do that. But I didn't do that. I dove into a low calorie bag of some smart food, popcorn, some white cheddar. There was about 35 calories a cup, I think it is, and pretty low point value for me, for low calorie value to be able to continue moving forward. And I did some exercise. So the exercise soothed my brain because then I was able to get some of that angst and energy out of my system, which was needed. And then I ate something healthy instead of diving into uh, 1,200 calorie macaroni and cheese. So first of all, that's a victory. That's a victory in itself because I look back on that now and I say, that's not the old me, that's the new me because I made a good decision. Now, I'm not always gonna make that good decision. And I think that a lot of people out there won't make great decisions a lot of times because we're human and we're flawed. But what I did was, is I consciously made the effort to make that decision at that moment in time because I knew that I needed that. And then today I can reflect on that and use the momentum of that ending of the evening into today. Because today is Tuesday, June 19th, 2018. And it's the only June 19th, 2018 I'm ever going to get. So why not make the best of it? For me, I need to know that whatever I'm doing today, I'm I'm attacking any of the opportunities that come around today and any of the things that come my way available to me, I'm going to make it the best damn day I can make it. I'm going to use each one of the opportunities. I'm going to maximize. I'm going to focus and I'm going to be directed I'm going to direct my mind to know that I'm going to get my steps in today. I'm going to get some exercise. I'm going to drink lots of water and I'm going to do the things that I know work for me. And today is a new day. And see, that's the that's the interesting thing about this whole entire journey is that although we look at it and say sometimes we we move might at a sales pace or we might not necessarily go the direction that we want to go in and we struggle each day and we look at the the whole entire journey as a mountain that we have to overcome. But if you look at each day as a new day, and you can forget about the bad things that might have happened yesterday, and know that tomorrow is not promised, then you maximize today to be the best day that you can make it, then your journey will be successful in the long run. Because what that does is it gives you small victories. It gives you small daily affirmations for you to get to where you've got to get to or where you want to go. And that's really important. For me anyway, I've got to feel like I'm accomplishing something. If I feel like I'm stagnant, I'm spinning my wheels, I'm not feeling like I'm moving forward, I'm not doing anything, then I will fail. I just fall off the the rails and I become somebody that's depressed or down in the dumps or I feel like I'm failure or whatever. And I know a lot of you can relate to that. I know you do because I hear it from you guys. I see it on your posts. I see it on the social media aspect of it. Some days are good. Some days are bad. But here's the thing. Those bad days, as long as they don't kill you, you're going to be waking up the next morning and you can start the next day off at a nice, fresh, new perspective. As a matter of fact, you can even do it the same exact day. If you're morning, you wake up and the kids are screaming and you got meltdowns happening, the hair's flying everywhere, you can't get it right, your clothes aren't ironed, it's not fitting right, you're not feeling good in your clothes, you got drama going on with your spouse, you got all kinds of stuff going on, the house is chaotic, you're doing all this stuff, you get the kids out, kids are late, one kid forgot their backpack, you got to go back and get the backpack, bring it over to the thing, whatever is going on in your life, right? So that's like a family drama situation. You could still hit the reset button at noon, one o'clock in the afternoon, because you can then say, okay, you know what? My morning sucked. It really did. And I'm feeling like I need lots of coffee and some food and whatever else that's going on. But instead, look at it as being, okay, my day starts right now. I'm going to make this day a good day. I'm going to make this day something better than what it was this morning. So you could do it as a half day increment or you could do it as a full day. A lot of times the full day works for me because when I wake up in the morning, I grab my coffee, I hop on my podcast, I write my blog, I do whatever. And those things, in my mind, help soothe me. And those get me to where I need to be so that way I can get my mind right, I can get my body right, and I can set myself on a path that's going to be successful throughout the day. 
But I know that I need that because whatever baggage that I had from yesterday, I got to clear it out. Listen, it's almost like when you uh, walk over to like, grab an air hose and you're blowing something out of like maybe an attic or whatever. It's the same exact thing. You're blowing all that garbage right out of there. That's exactly what I'm doing. In the morning when I wake up and I've got my ritual and I grab my coffee and I get my mind going and I'm scouring the internet or I'm looking for something that's going to inspire me or I've got something that I'm trying to write and that's my my motivation. Maybe yours is yoga. Maybe you get up in the morning and you lay on the mat and you do your yoga to be able to get you into a good place, to get your mind right, to get to do the things that you need to do. You know what that is? That's reframing, that's blowing all the garbage out, that's really just getting yourself right to where you got to get to so that way today is going to be a great day. So these are so important. All these little things that you're doing. So if it's running in the morning, do it. Go for a run. Go do it. Don't tell yourself you can't do it because of drama that's going on. If that's what puts you in a good place and that's what gets your mind right, go do that. Because that's only going to set you up for success for the rest of the day. You all know exactly what I'm talking about. When you work out in the morning, I know for me personally, if I work out in the morning or I go for a walk or I get some exercise in or even throughout the day as I go, I am 5,000 times more apt to being successful during the day because I'm in the right frame of mind and I'm not feeling depressed or I'm not feeling down or I got the energy that I need and my body's working and the blood's flowing and I'm, you know, the mind's working right and all those things. But if I sit stagnant, you know what happens to me? I become a lump on a log and I turn it to Jabba the Hutt. That's pretty much what it is. That's what happens to me. I mean, literally, Jabba the Hutt. Because I sit back and I go, okay, well, you know, I could be moving, but I'm not going to really. So I got depression and I got this stuff going on. I got family issues. You know, my dad's sick and I got all this other stuff going on. So, you know, I'm just going to sit here and just wallow in my sorrows and do whatever I have to do. I don't think so. I've got to turn things around when I start feeling like Jabba the Hutt. Got to get moving. I don't want to feel like that. I want to feel like somebody strong. I want to feel like somebody that is a supporter. Somebody that is ready to go. And I know, listen, not every day is going to be that way. And you can't really turn it around some days. Some days you are just stuck in the mud. Yesterday's Monday was that way for me. All the way till I got home until I had a small victory where I got some exercise and I ate a little healthier in the evening. So small victories matter. Add those small victories up to give you some big victories. Okay. So I know we talk about this all the time. And the mindset and the things that we go through in our brains is just so, it's intense if you think about it. You know, I'm not a psychologist. Neither are you. We're just people that have brains in our cranium up in our head that think certain ways and do certain things. And we just have to navigate and figure out how we can put ourselves in a better place with that brain that works the way that it does. You know, if you're if you're feeling down in the dumps and you're not feeling you can't get out of the rut, talk to somebody. Go talk to somebody. Even if it's a therapist or go to a counselor or somebody on No Finish Line Nation, pop on there and say, hey, this is how I'm feeling today. This is where I'm at. And see if somebody else jumps right in. Nine times out of ten when I do a podcast, if somebody can relate to what I'm doing for the podcast, they'll chime in and say, that's exactly how I was feeling. Thank you so much for posting that. Or thank you so much for saying that because I you're talking directly to me. Because somebody out there is going through the same thing you're going through. And if you are not able to bounce out, and you're not able to as cleanly say or do is like what I was talking about, where you can get the blowout method and be able to just clear what was going on yesterday and get into today. If you can't get there, talk to someone. Don't just, don't, don't just bury it. Because if you bury it, then the issues happen. And then it starts to compile and then it starts to build. And now you've got a mountain of all of these suppressed feelings and depression and all that good stuff or all that bad stuff, I should say. And you've got all this stuff going on that you legitimately can't get out of. You're in the rut. You're sinking in the mud. You're you're feeling a lot like quicksand. And you can't get out of it. You got to talk to somebody. Reach out. Do what you have to do. Mental health, we talked about a couple podcasts ago. It's one of those things that is a hot topic right now because we have so much issues, so many issues in society today with mental health. And it doesn't just come with food. It doesn't just come with uh, any kind of addictions that you might have, drugs or anything like that. Mental health is something that needs to be addressed and we need to talk about it, get the conversation going. Okay, 
So that's where I'm at today with the podcast. So I, I, it was funny how I put on the coffee talk. So I've got my co- I got my mug right now in front of me, and you can't hear the mug. I've got it right next to me, right here, and it's a double handed mug kind of day. And why is that? Because when I grab the mug with both hands, I feel like there's a comfort to that. Okay, that's one of my rituals that I do. That I know that on those days that I'm having a stressful morning or I had a stressful day the day before. If I grab the mug with both hands and it's nice and warm on the mug and I get some steam rolling off and I'm sipping the coffee mug, just like on a Folgers commercial, right? You used to turn it on. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup, right? Remember those days when we used to see the commercial and they would always have the scene like with the sun in the background and the steam would be rolling off the coffee mug and and then the person would drink it and then they would go, ah, right? They would do that, the whole entire thing that they would do for the commercial. But you would feel that and you would see that and that's comfort to me. And I know it's something simple and small, but that is comfort for me. So it's a double-handed mug kind of day for me because I know I'm going to do the right things today and I'm starting off right in a comfort place that I know that I'm doing it for me and I'm going to set myself up for success for the rest of the day. Do the same for you. If you had a bad morning, change it around. If you had a bad day yesterday, change it around right now. Change the the frame of mind that you're in and focus on the things that you can do and be the best version of you that you can be. All right, guys, we'll talk later. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Coffee Talk with Liquid Chain on 1973 podcast. You can also follow him on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Liquid Chain on 1973. Also, if you get a chance, leave some love on iTunes. Have a great day.